I'm just amazed, Will. Lassie is the only dog in the whole neighborhood that Sandy doesn't hide from. Lassie can bring anybody out of their shell, Mr. Peterson. I think you're right. Now, I can't wait to get started. I want this house to look perfect. Well, as soon as the permits come through and the termite exterminators finish, I'll get to work. This is going to be a showcase for a very elegant era. My people from all over will come. Oh, no. Watch out for the grass. Oh, my. Oh, Sandy. Now, you must be more careful. It's an embarrassment already, and it's never going to look right if it keeps getting trampled on. It was my fault, Miss Helms. I know better. You must keep your dog off the grass. Well, you should be more careful. Mm -hmm. Look, don't worry about the landscaping. I'll go over it all with you after I finish with the house. And I think I know where I can get some help. Well, of course, I didn't mean to yell. It's just that this is very important to me, and... I apologize, Miss Helm. Mr. Peterson, I simply must have your decision by tomorrow. Before the remodeling gets started, well... Either the dog has to be gone, or, or you both do. In the meantime, please try to keep him off the grass. Uh. Chris, I want to show you the siding round back. Right. She can't throw you out, Mr. Peterson. I'm afraid she can. And I can't afford to leave. My rent is controlled here, and I live on a pension, so... But you can't give Sandy away. Oh, no, no. Little Sandy would be lost without me. I know Dad said we could discuss it later, but later will be too late. Besides, every kid in America knows that discussing it later is just their parents' way of saying no. So, why can't we keep Sandy here? We'll discuss it later. Oh, come on, Mom. He won't be any trouble. Lassie and Sandy really like each other. Well, it's not the answer. I know what Mr. Peterson told you, but he needs Sandy as much as Sandy needs him. He'd be lost without that dog. But he's got to do something. Well, Miss Helms is a new owner of the house now. And your dad checked. There's always been a no pets clause in the lease. We may not like it, but that's the way it is. It's just not right. You want me to go talk to her? Okay, I'll run over tomorrow and I'll see if I can turn her around. It's no use. I tried, Dad tried, Horace tried. She's tough, Mom, stubborn as a mule. Sweetheart, all three of you are men. It might just take a woman to handle a woman. Are you telling me I can count on you to handle Megan next time she gets out of line? talk about it. Stubborn as a mule? What's another word for mule? Mom. I can't believe that woman. I tried everything. Pleasantries, small talk, tears. Nothing. Wow. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, it's too late, Will. Horace had to give Sandy away this morning. What? Come on, let's go home. There's nothing more we can do here. Oh, Mom, Lassie and I will walk home. I want to talk to Mr. Peterson. Okay, don't be too late. Lassie, you better wait here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Peterson. Hi, Will. I just heard about Sandy. Uh, I, uh... I did what I had to do. Where did he go? Don't worry about Sandy. He'll be fine. My uh, brother came and got him this morning. He lives in Santa Barbara. Sandy will have a nice home there. Well, it was nice of you to drop by. I've got to go.
can't believe Mr. Peterson just gave Sandy away like that. He didn't have much of a choice, Will. Sandy's in Santa Barbara. They'll never see each other. It wasn't Horace's fault, honey. Miss Helm sort of forced him into it. It was probably the hardest thing he had to do in a long time. I can't see how anybody could just give their dog away. Mr. Peterson really disappointed me. And he wouldn't even talk about it. I could never give Lassie away. Not in a million years. It's all right, Sandy. I'm back. I'm back. Where are you, Sandy boy? Sandy? Ah, oh, there you are, my dear, dear boy. Oh, yes. I'm so glad to see you. Yes, but we've got to be very quiet. She'll hear us. Yes. Now, then, I'll tell you what we're going to do. As soon as it gets good and dark, we're going over to the park. And you can run and jump and bark as much as you want to. But from now on, so long as we are here, we've got to be very, very quiet. Now, you'll be quite safe in here until we work something out. Atta boy. Even to have a light for you, nice soft blanket, water, every... One other thing. One other thing. Here we are, Sandy. Here we are. There. Just like home. There. Now, maybe you better stay here while I clear it with Miss Helms. I just heard from the city inspectors. As soon as the exterminators are finished, I can get to work. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll tell them to be here in the morning. Uh, Miss Helms? Yes? Will came along to, uh, supervise. Now, I know they've been here recently, but... Well, he'd like to take Lassie in to see Mr. Peterson, if it's okay with you. No, I'm afraid not. You see, it just wouldn't be convenient. In fact, I'm going to have to tell Mr. Peterson and the other tenants they'll be moving sooner than expected. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Peterson. Oh, uh, 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 just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. All right, now, S Sandy. You'll be a good dog, and remember, from now on, you have to be very quiet. Very quiet indeed. Oh, stay up still. Mr. Peterson. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, I need to talk to you. Yes, just a minute. Just a... Oh, my God. Mr. Peterson, is everything okay? Mr. Peterson, what is go- Can't you hear me? Mr. Peterson, I came in and I found him like this. I don't know what happened. We need an ambulance. Call 911 now. <laughs> Will, wait outside for the ambulance. When they get here, show them where we are. Okay. Come on, Lassie. <laughs>
You're early. Everything's set and ready to go. Yes, ma'am. How's he doing? Well, he's a tough man, Will. I was trying to... That's good. He's been like that all night. Or, He's not making any sense. There's something about a Sandy. Sandy's his dog. Has Mr. Peterson's brother been down to visit yet? No, I don't think so. Of course, we haven't been able to talk to him yet, but his previous records don't list any next of kin. Really? I'll just give you a minute, Will. Mr. Peterson? You're gonna be all right. I know it. Besides, what would Sandy do without you? Or maybe... I'm coming back, Mr. Peterson. Don't worry. in your family? Okay. Thanks anyway. Bye. It's amazing, Dad. Will's tried every Peterson in Santa Barbara. Twice. Maybe Mr. Peterson's brother got married and took his wife's name. I mean, this is California. Oh, well, maybe his brother lives out of the city. Maybe it's not Santa Barbara. Maybe Will's wrong. Maybe it's Santa Monica. Or Santa Ana. Well, we'll never know for sure until Horace is better, will we? I just wish I could help. Will's not going to drop this thing. Make. Can uh, you and your mother finish up here? Sure. I'm going to drive Will over to the house. Well, he may not want to talk to Elizabeth, but she must know something about Mr. Peterson's brother. Will? Come on. Lass? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense, Dad. Mr. Peterson gives Sandy to his brother, and his brother disappears. It is kind of strange. Let's try to stay out of the way. That gas is dangerous. Stay here, Lassie. Oh, good morning. Hi. Lassie, it's all right. It's OK. Well, we're right on schedule. Good. Oh, by the way, how's Mr. Peterson doing? Uh, mm -hmm. Will paid him a visit this morning. 
He seems to be improving. Do you know anything about his brother? No, not much. Nobody knows this brother. It's like he doesn't exist. Okay, everybody, stand back. I'm gonna start it up. <laughs> Lassie, I told you to stay by the truck. Dad! Well, I know what you're thinking. Sandy never left that house. Lassie! Will, no! Oh. Shut it down! Will, come on. Dad, Sandy's in there! I'm sure of it! We can't go in there! Lassie! Lassie! I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Stop it in time. I, I don't know. I can't be sure. But nobody can go in there. Uh, three breaths of that gas is enough to kill you. Lassie. I checked that room myself. I swear it was empty. I checked the whole house. It's not your fault, Miss Helms. I'm sure Mr. Peterson hid Sandy someplace, someplace good. I had no idea he'd do something like that. I didn't mean any harm, really, I didn't. I know you didn't. Looks like they're both all right. I know somebody who really has to know this. We can't take Sandy into a hospital. We'll figure something out. Come on. Come on, Lassie. Chris. Will. I'm so worried about Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> I never heard that lunch basket bark. How can I thank you? You just get well. Lassie's the one who did it, Mr. Peterson. She rescued Sandy from the house. I can't believe it. Neither could the exterminators. <laughs> what a story. Well, I have a better story than that, Horace. It's the story of a woman who was so caught up in her own plans, she never took the time to notice the needs of her neighbor. I'm really sorry about that. But from now on, Sandy will always have a home with you for as long as you like. Well, I'll accept that, Elizabeth. But only if Will and Lassie can come and visit any time they want to. It's a deal. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lassie. There's nowhere to get you in. Unless... Forget it. <laughs> <laughs>